Okay, so the upside that we were looking for from ticker symbol MULN definitely happened early in the morning, right? So let's go ahead and see what the potentials are for the following session. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with an MULN technicals and raw price action threat of analysis on this Thursday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said... Let's dive right into the charts. Okay, team, so we are looking at MULN here on the 12-hour chart. I do remember somebody in the uh, Twitter asked me, what supports are we looking at, right, regarding the charts? And I expressed that there could be a support at about 23, 20, uh, 23, 23, right? So it's very curious that we are closing that uh, that target right at about 23.19. At, at one point today, uh, the price action, including the uh, including yesterday's price action, was up at about 216 percent total. So very very impressive run coming out of uh, ticker symbol MULN. And I and I'm not sure if we actually did speak about this target in particular, but I, I'm not I'm not sure, and I I'm not gonna say that I did say it or whatever. It doesn't matter. We got the upside that we were looking for, and, and there is a huge pullback from it. Okay, so the, what's uh, could that have flashed uh, momentum uh, to the downside? I'm I'm not sure, but we're gonna have to go ahead and take a look at that uh, uh, those momentum indicators now. So let's di let's dive into the 30 minute immediate short term time frame and see what we have in store here for MULN. Okay, so uh, we have actually <laughs> we actually have decreasing volatility with an upside pivot and uh, in stochastic momentum. We're finding that support from the SMA 14 represented by the purple line or the pink line here on the RSI. And, uh, and it has an upside pivot. So that's nice. Another thing to notice here is that there is decreasing pressure on the MACD right now, bear pressure. And this is suggesting a potential upside cross, which would be a very bullish thing. Now, moving on into the hourly time frame, you can see that the EMA3 and the, the uh, SMA 14 are starting to get a, a kind of a reaction here from the influence of the 30 minute time frame okay so let's just see if the 15 minute has it 15 minute downside and five okay so this is consolidation for the immediate short term time frame um i think uh guys this is a tough one ah my goodness sorry about that guys i actually have uh my water bottle here uh i honestly think that we can actually wait a bit because we may get a pullback from the very short term. Five minute, let's see here. Uh, okay, the, yeah, we're going to have to use the 15 minute. And I think that there is a moving average that we can use as resistance. Yes, there it is. So, uh, w yeah, we would actually face a resistance from the top side of about 2401. So, uh, yeah, wait, wait, wait for... Uh, wait for 2401 at the SMA 50 on the 15 minute time frame. And then we would actually come back to the SMA 10 or actually our current highs. But that would be a range, right? So our, our current highs being 2319. But I would have to give you this range here to keep an eye on, right? So it would be, uh, yeah, it would be the better part of about, uh, let's see, uh, 2236 to about 2317 would be the long range. And then, and then uh, this would actually uh, continue to the upside here. But I wouldn't say that it's going to continue to the upside immediately. Although the 30-minute time frame suggesting it's uh, yeah, that 30-minute time frame is actually suggesting that too. Okay, so yeah, it would be. I think this would be the, this would be the bottom side to kind of look at here. And then we would actually make an upside. But please remember that uh lots of people are taking profits from this at any given moment so just like i did just like i expressed the danger yesterday team i said that uh if you're going to trade this asset then you you have to make sure make sure that you have a risk management plan in line or else it's not going to be a good idea to trade this okay as this uh, ticker would be best traded by seasoned traders and uh, my beginner traders are seeing this opportunity as like, okay, well, let's get it, right? But no, team, oftentimes this can present some serious, serious, serious losses, right? So I, I just want to express deep concern within that. And uh, a very good thing here that's indicating a potential upside continuation is actually the hourly golden cross, SMA 50 about to cross the SMA 200 on the hourly, which uh, the 30 minutes should have already experienced. Let's see. So 30 minute time frame did actually get that experience right up here and notice how that green candle please this is important okay let me go ahead and pull it uh let me get these uh, out of the way 
right here. This is the cross, and look at what the price action did right after it, right? So, I mean, we got the we got the golden cross notification right on that huge green candle, okay? So, uh, th th yeah, th this is why I'm saying that it's very important to notice when these things are happening, okay? So, in this case, the pullback is normal because we have to come back and validate the 50, the SMA 50 as a form of support before a continuation to the upside, Naturally, this gives us a secondary range for entry. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a note of that as well because this is this is definitely a good hint. Okay, so uh, I would say about 2171 and the range would land at about 2116 as a potential secondary loading zone. Okay, so that, yeah, that, that would be uh, essentially the uh, long ranges, right? The first one being... Let's go ahead and click it. Uh, the first one being 2236 to 2317, and the second one being uh, 2116 to 2171. Okay, so th those are, I, I think they're highly probable, and uh, I think that they actually may happen tomorrow. Okay, and then we can actually get a continuation to the upside, and the upside continuation is not a blind uh, suggestion. In fact, it's uh, I'm saying it because we actually have a few upper term time frames that are still suggesting an upside, particularly to the eight hour time frame. Eight hour time frame is in critical volatility and still increasing. And we are in the bullish control zone here with uh, with exponentials. So that is suggesting a continuation to the upside. MACD absolutely showing huge bull pressure. And we have we have a uh, support from the uh, DMI. So we have, look at that, the ADX is sitting at 43, almost 44%. DMI plus is sitting uh, is sitting above the bulls, which is great. And that's honestly the validation for this volatility versus momentum setup. Uh, very nice setup here on the RSI as well, upside pivot, but just incredibly away from its, uh, from its SMA 14. So uh, yeah, team, I, I think that there could be a very short term a pullback here. Remember what the uh, targets are that I'm speaking about. And uh, and then we'll evaluate what the what the upside can be. But to be very honest with you, yeah, the upside targets would also be uh, the range of about twenty nine eighty seven to the top side of about thirty two twenty two. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw it in just like this, just so that we can uh, uh, kind of have it in line, uh, you know, for us. I can actually make it a little. Yeah, let, let me let me maybe try to adjust it a little bit here. Yeah, I think this would actually be it. And that's the resistance right up there. Oh uh, yeah, so 3009 to about 3022. Let's click on it. Uh, my goodness, there you go. Yeah, 3222, and uh, that that would essentially be the uh, resistance range here. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that the SMA 50 could be located down here by the time we get there, right? But uh, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna adjust it to right where the SMA 50 is now. 3336 to 3009 is essentially the resistance range that I am looking for. After a, after a short-term pullback and reaccumulation, okay? So uh, I just want you to be very, very careful when trading this asset, okay? Because it's, it's presenting so many dangers here. People can get stuck on this big time, okay? And I don't want that to be you. I, I really don't, okay? So I'm going to be as clear as I can be about uh, having, you, uh, having you maybe consider staying cash than trading this okay but uh i mean it's it's incredibly bullish it still looks like a very healthy upside is happening here although it's not as clear as it was yesterday right but still but still 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 this uh this ticker has experienced some serious downside pressure and some of that pressure of which i wouldn't uh wish upon anyone okay team so i would like uh yeah i, I think uh, please remember first and foremost that i am not a financial advisor take whatever i do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as i cannot suggest for you to buy sell or hold any assets whatsoever i need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool cool but with that said i wish you well a very very good night and i will catch you at the bell manana adios